Hi, my name is Aaron Weimer, and in this video, I would like to talk to you a little bit about getting into your student library account. There are several steps in the process. You may not know them all. You may not know any of them. If that's the case, I'm going to show you how to get that done right here. The first step you need to follow is that you need to actually go to the library's homepage. To get there from the campus homepage, go to Academic Resources, click on Library. It's fun and easy. So here's the library homepage, all kinds of fun stuff here, all kinds of toys. Don't touch anything yet. Second thing you need to do once you're here, actually it's the first thing you should have done, was go and get your student ID. If you don't have your student ID yet, you officially fail, I cannot help you. Once you get that ID, come to the library, bring the ID with you, because leaving the ID back at home or in your dorm room is fairly useless. Bring it in, stop at the circulation desk, which is the desk down by the front doors, and ask them if they will scan the barcode for you. What that does is that links you with our record for you, meaning that you exist. You're not an ephemeral little ghost out there floating around that we don't know about. You are actually here. Then you need to come to this page, click on the Accounts tab, fill out the information that you can. Student ID number, your 000 number. If you don't know what that is, look down. It's probably on your student ID. It's your student ID number for a reason. Second thing, last name. If you don't know your last name, call your mom. If your mom doesn't know your last name, I'm pretty sure you're... Once you get those two bits of information, click on Get My PIN because you don't have a PIN number, that's what you're trying to get. That will send a five or six digit PIN number to your student email account. Once you've done that, come back, put that in, click Login. That logs you into your student library account. What that does for you, that gets you access to Galileo from off campus. Basically just gives you the password. This password changes every semester, so you're going to need to be able to come in here repeatedly to get it. This is Hornet Connect. To log into this, you simply enter in your active email account name, just the name, you don't need the at spsu.edu, and that password. And you click sign in. It's going to ask you if it can upload all kinds of stuff. Just allow everything, don't deny any of this stuff. And then eventually, it'll actually log you into the Hornet Connect server. All right, now that we're finally in here, you'll see top left, library resources. Click on that, takes you to our Hornet Connect page. You have all kinds of stuff at your fingertips. All you need to do is click on something and practice using it. I will point out to you that you only have a four hour session on here. In four hours, this will try to close on you. You may have to re-log in. I'm sure it will be fine. 